Oh, snap. We're running out of time before the phone gets wiped. We need to guess the master password. Access denied. Ah! This might take a while. Wait, what? Access denied. I'm on fire at all. My name is Brenda Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, welcome back, guys. Thank you for tuning in for my opinion slash review for the Emoji Movie. Uh, before we get started, I just want to go ahead and let you know that you should subscribe to this channel right now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get all the content that I have to provide. And also click that like button, okay? Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes and help me get to my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. All right. So let's get into this. The Emoji Movie. The movie has been out for a week now. It came out last Friday and I didn't want to see it last week. I don't even think they had any early screenings for it, especially in Dallas. But I did go ahead and uh, go, you know, go ahead and give Sony Pictures my money for the Emoji Movie. And yes, the movie is being distributed by Sony, being uh, produced by Sony. Um, they are the studio that always seems like they are running out of ideas and they are desperate to make some type of content. But let's actually talk about the Emoji Movie. Now, when this movie was first advertised a number of months ago and announced, just like everybody else, um, I thought this was a horrible idea. When I first saw the trailer, I thought this was a horrible idea. And now that I've seen the movie, it confirms that it was a horrible idea to make this movie. Uh, it may be making money. The budget came in like 50 million. I haven't checked the box office, but, you know, here is my opinion. Here is my take. And with that, this movie is just not good. And you you know that already. I, I went in with super low expectations because everybody was crapping on this. But I was like, you know what? People have crapped on movies before and I still ended up loving them. So I'm still just going to go see it. I'm going to try to have an unbiased opinion. But the movie is not good for a number of reasons. Now, you know, from the what well, if you don't know, because you probably haven't seen the film, is that uh, there's a guy in high school. And uh, he likes this girl. He's attracted to her. You know, uh, he wants to get to know her more than a friend. And he just has a problem, um, you know, getting comfortable talking to her. The first problem with the film is, you know, they're texting each other and whatnot. Yet he's afraid to talk to the girl, but he already has her phone number. That really doesn't make sense. Um, clock me out of the film nearly as it began. And it's just, you know, th that's just one of those things that's frustrating. You know, little children probably won't notice, but, you know, me as a young man, as a young adult, of course, you know, I noticed that. But for the writing team to ignore something so blatantly obvious, it is annoying to me and just a true testament of how I don't even think the writers gave a crap about this movie and how they just wanted to make a quick book off of little kids. But anyway, that's the first thing that doesn't make sense. But he tries to reply back with an emoji, the emoji meh that's being voiced by T.J. Miller. Uh, you know, he, he wants to be more than just a meh emoji. You know, he wants to smile and dance and cry and sing. And, you know, that that's cool. You know, I, I somewhat respect that as, as far as the movie. But, um, you know, he don't want to be mad when he tries to, you know, go through the phone or whatever his cellular device. You know, he makes the wrong face. They think that, the you know, the users on the, you know, the user, the guy on the outside of the phone and the emojis and all the programs on the inside of the phone thinks that there's something wrong with the phone or mad himself and that, the, you know, he's dysfunctional. So they have to get it fixed and, you know, just, you know, uh, trim it down the plot a little bit. The plot of the film is it's a race against time because they need to get meh to emote the right emotion before the user deletes the whole phone and all the programs. Now, it's just it's just this is a bad film on so many levels, because just let me let me just go back on that description right there. I mean, who will delete who will just delete their whole phone just because one emoji doesn't you know work right i mean if you send an emoji and it's not the right emoji are you going to go to your at&t your sprint your t-mobile or you know or metro pcs or whatever your verizon are you going to go hey my you know i was trying to send an emoji but you know the whole it, it, i sent the wrong one so i, I just want to delete my whole phone you know that that's just the premise of this movie so it's like a race against time to do that but the movie is not a movie it is a giant advertisement for a bunch of spam and apps that nobody downloads and it's so on the nose that is is cringing 
Um, there really isn't nothing to like about this movie at all. There is one emoji by the name of Smiley or Smiler, uh, voiced by Maya Randolph. Uh, she was in Bryce May. It's a, you know, she used to pop up on either Mad TV or Saturday Night Live. Possibly one of the scariest characters I've seen on screen in a long time. And, and that's crazy because her name is Smiley or Smiler or whatever. But she smiles all the time, just like this. Just And it scares the freaking crap out of you. I mean, how would you feel if I talked to you like this for the rest of the movie? Whether I was happy, sad, or upset, I just talk like this. You know, that was her whole character throughout the entire movie. And it really freaked me out, uh, seriously. Um, so... I mean, I, I, I mean, you can just tell how bad this movie sucks just by my enthusiasm as I'm giving you this review because it's just so cheap and lazy. And it's just like I'm just like, oh, my gosh, they're trying to advertise this and and, you know, advertise Candy Crush and this app and this app and the transitions between per certain uh, from scene to scene is sloppy and lazy transitioning between different apps is lazy and lazy. And I just don't care about the characters and none of them at all. You don't really get to know the user other than seeing him use his phone a little bit. But these are just a freaking bunch of emojis and, and applications in the phone. I don't care if they live or die because there's no such thing. I mean, an app, you can either replace it, upgrade it, delete it. If you delete it, you can download it again. It is not the end of the world. These are, you know, these are not, this is not like a Wreck-It Ralph to where, you know, these were characters that I grew up on from my childhood. You know, this emoji stuff has only been around for a number of years. And so, you know, I, I just didn't care for this movie at all. Um, it, it is extremely forgettable. Um, it, it is painful to watch. I was falling asleep in the theater as I was watching it, slapping myself in the face because, you know, I, I just didn't want to go to sleep in a the movie theater. Um, but it's just not good. I don't recommend this for older people, younger people, middle aged people or younger people. It is just not a good film at all. It is boring. It is dry. It is lazy. It's just plain stupid. If I had to rate this film out of a one out of ten, I would get. Yeah, I would give it a one out of ten. Yes, a one out of ten. But guys, that is just my opinion for the Emoji Movie. Have you seen it yet? Do you want to see it? You know, have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. My feelings aren't hurt. Just leave me a comment below why, a mature comment, and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching this on youtube like i said before go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get all the content that i have to provide whether it's in the past present or future go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified when i make uploads as well you can go to my website bookmark it check me out there and also guys you can look me up on social media and also share the video you know share it on your social media on your twitters your instagrams your reddit i'm not gonna get mad if you share the video but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review for the emoji movie and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and this is just my opinion peace